welcome to My Crazy Life as a first-generation female farmer, The Chronicles of Kayla. Is there any better view? right yeah full service straight so, the rake out loader stays not keeping the loader not keeping this rake for the 2024 season we're actually getting a bigger one a bigger one, bigger one. a bigger one so if you want this rake come see loft equipment it'll be here jeff city jeff. jeff i know i said the same thing i did the same thing it's a 662 trc you guys got to see it all last year from us we liked it, we loved it. The only downfall for us was um, we couldn't get it spread out far enough to uh, catch every piece of hay on the windrow. So we are getting a bigger rake. Really excited. Do you know what numbers are for the new rake? Uh, okay. Eight. Eight. It's either eight, I think it's 802. I, I think. think that's what it is. 802 TRC. Yeah. So it's be the same size, it'll be the same same style. Style same. rake, center delivery. It's just um, gonna be a little bit bigger rotors. Two basket. So one thing that's gonna help us on bigger rotors though, is that we'll be able to catch more hay, but also too, we'll be able to narrow our windrow width. So, cause like with this rake, 13 foot mower, um, we could barely catch the outsides, but then we couldn't, uh, narrow it in enough for our windrow for our baler either. So you go to bigger rotors, you can catch more, but then smaller windrow. So this means our windrows won't have to be spot on when we're raking now, huh? Yeah, but and then it's going to be easier for the baler too yeah. to be able to catch all the hay and not be not leave it, not leave any behind. behind. So 5S gets to also stay. She'll get a overhaul, just looked at, oiled, everything. Be ready for a new season. 
Look at the tires on this thing, Jason. You think I can look at it? This is massive. Like, huge. She's so big. So big. Clearly, I don't need a tractor this big. But, I mean, look at these tires. She's a Dyna VT. Oh, it is open. I wasn't sure. They're probably working on it for somebody. So if this is somebody's tractor, I'm just checking it out. She's a big girl. talk Jason into a little guy. <laughs> Probably not. But this would be ideal for like the horse barn. Oh, she's home. Man, it is windy. Very windy. Yeah, it is. It seems like it's always windy these days. See, this, you have releases here now? Where? For your hydraulics. Well, ain't that handy. Nice. But it's totally different, though, than the Five. FS. And we have Power Beyond, red and blue. I'll just come up there. Check your... Think it, your hydro fluid there. It's called permatrain. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to talk about it out in the wind very so, well. So. so you don't have no sight glass, but you do have a snap ring. Oh, well, that's nice. That's an improvement over the 5S. Yeah. Big improvement. She's just a bigger frame tractor, though. She is a big frame. I love this. This is like one of the things. I do wish it had the. Uh, which it may not be an option on this, but I do wish it had the fenders. The, wi the wider fenders. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I didn't even notice that until just now. I like this because you can um, be able to raise it. Like when we were working on the rake on the 5S, it was really nice. Because you can bump it up and mess with it. <sighs> this is really nice if you need to turn on and off the PTO. Obviously we'll talk about Power Beyond and the whole thing of why we needed to go the 6S route after having 5S all summer. Oh. What? Your girl's not like mine either. Like yours. They are both mine, buddy. You know mine has the white LED? Yeah. Yours don't have that. Look at the step on this side over here. Not that I see anyway. Like how these are white. Yeah. Definitely bigger hood. At what would you, the step? <laughs> Look at the massive on the step. <laughs> She's a beaut, Clark. It might be locked. Oh, okay. Get her all situated. 
Lord knows I'm not gonna get to drive it right now. Huh. Doubt that. Huh. What am I gonna do? Drive it back and forth to home and not? Probably. <laughs> <You'll need it. laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time. So this is the 6S 165. Went up a whole series and then another what? 20 horsepower went from 145 to 165. To be able to run the Baron and the Baylor, the big square. This just better fits. Especially with the Baron. Which we're still waiting on um, a kit to fit the 1842S, which is why we really haven't showcased a whole lot of the Baron yet. We'll get her off and we don't really have time to play with her today, do we? Oh, well, I gotta get payloaded. So, okay. I'll let you back her off. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take her for a spin. I'm sure you are. I am! I'm sure. I am. Don't you worry. Our manual. So the 5S is ours. We bought that one at the end of season. So she's getting a full maintenance and we'll go pick her back up when we get the rake. We also have a 1393 mower conditioner coming. <laughs> Six hours. Oh, turn the radio off. Hit mute. Yes. Hit mute. Just mute it. Goodness. I thought I was going to hurry. Really, just don't. She needs fuel? Yeah. yeah. She does need some fuel. But she's set up just like the five inside, except for she's clean and got the new clean smell. Who's excited? So really, honestly, she's just pretty much the same as the 5S. We have the step up for our bail baron, but we'll talk all of those things. Uh, Jason actually is gonna put her in the shop and we are going to be installing cameras and mics and radios and all the fun stuff. So put her in the shop and it's one of those things when they come off the lot, they're, they're pretty much ready to go. I can't remember what I did. I don't know without looking. I can probably pull up a picture of it if you need me to. I didn't think about pulling it out either. Because it's the same radio. What'd you get? I didn't think they were going to be that big. You don't like them? They'll work. Oh, they're going to have to work. They're already here. You can see yourself in there. 
I'll just go over here and admire my toy.